just a wooden frame. I got the motion sensor going on. And how long have you been here? I, I think it, it might be 14 months in December. You like it here? Sometimes it's noisy here because of the other patients. Why do you like it better when it's quiet? Have you always liked it quiet or...? I've been used to living very quiet. You told me once that you didn't like the radio in the hospital. I was unhappy when they brought the radio. Why? It, the ward was quiet in the Well, if you're very quiet, what are you doing? Are you reading or are you thinking? Reading. Listening to music and not talking. What is up guys? Thank you for watching Franco TV. So I just made it to my first state outside of Florida and that is the state of Tennessee. I now made it to the Hales Bar Dam which has been converted into a whiskey brewery uh, kind of thing. However, since all the changes has been going on, there has been an upbeat in the paranormal activity been, that's been happening here. Apparently Nicole's daughters were hearing voices into their heads saying that to do things that they shouldn't have been doing. And there was also a recent death that actually took place right up the road from the dam. I will be taking you guys in there and I will be doing a nighttime investigation here seeing what kind of paranormal activity I can catch. That being said, let's get into the video. Look at how much this place has changed since the last time I was here. In fact, while I was kind of getting all my stuff, my equipment being right up through there, I did hear a loud bang. For a minute I thought it was a gunshot, but it came from this side of the building. I'm not sure what that could have been, but it was definitely from inside the building. What I want to show you guys now is the area in which where someone actually passed away at because of a boating fire. And it's actually right over there. So let me go ahead and teleport over there so you guys can see it. County investigators are searching for a man who owns one of the boats that caught fire at Hales Bar Marina last night. The man's son says his dad sometimes lives on the boat, and Mary Frances Hoots spoke with him. I spoke with a family who says it was their dad's houseboat that went up in flames, and crews are still searching for him. Two boats went up in flames, and investigators have been on the scene for more than 14 hours. Thursday night, Hailtown Volunteer Fire Department responded to this marina because two boats were on fire at Dock G. This is the area here where the person had passed away at. Their boat is actually right over here. Let me get a little bit closer to it. You can see these are all the man's belongings that were here. And you can see bits and pieces of the boat there. Look at this. And I think his boat this is someone else's boat, but his boat sank and went down over here. And if you look up, you can see how it took down all the, I guess, shingles or the little things that cover for the rooftop, completely burnt it down. And this is the backside of his boat. His body actually sank to the bottom of the water after the boat had sank um, due to how much of a fire it was. But look at this, it even burnt down the whole bridge here. This is the back of his boat right here. And right over here, I gotta be careful where I walk because it's burnt here. But this is where all the wood to going to his boat kind of completely collapsed there. And you can see the front of his boat right up there. At this point now, I'm gonna make my way back to the Hell's Bar Dam where I'm gonna continue the nighttime investigation, seeing what I can get. Hopefully something happens. I'm excited, nervous, I'm ready to get this going. Let's get into it. It is now nighttime. I just made it inside. When I was leaving the other area for where the guy's body was found, there was a man in a boat next to me with a 
literally a 12 gauge shotgun just standing there watching me i had no idea he was ready to just go i'm like jesus christ dude holy crap but anyway i made it back in it is now dark i waited a little bit i'm hearing a bunch of knocks and creaks and bangs here and there but again that could be anything i want you guys to see it with me i do have night vision set up everywhere so let's get into it the majority of the sounds that i'm hearing sounds like things moving in the water so that could either be fishes or in fact, you can see a big trout right there. And the water level completely receded. So it's uh, not even high at all. Oh, there's another one over there. And one right there. I'm not sure if you guys can see it. See? It's a big boy. I remember I kayaked into those catacombs in there. That was actually pretty cool. I'm gonna take a closer look going in here just to see how it looks like in the bottom since the water level looks so low. A kayak through. I have to be honest, that was actually one of the funnest things I've ever done on a video. This is that dark tomb. I keep calling it a tomb, but it's like the dark hallway, but it almost feels tomb like going in here. <laughs> That's a uh, remnants for when it's Halloween. And then look at this. They actually got all the lights working through here, or I think they put new ones. But if you go down here, they're installing. What looks like a water heater to start. Okay, that was the first time I seen those lights just turn off like that. It was a bit of a flicker though. Maybe it was me. Motion activated or something. Well, that got me on my toes. <laughs> Still walking through that creepy area. I'm about to make it into the tunnels, which is right inside this door area here. I did bring a motion sensor with me too. So in case, oh my God, I just realized what that was. This is where they're putting all the cool Halloween props for when they do the Halloween Horror Night things. I could call it Halloween Horror Nights. Holy crap. See, those are the sounds I'm talking about. Listen. How was that? Like a good neighbor. check back here because here's what I'm hearing
It is freaking dark as hell. Literally, the only thing I can see right now is my camera screen lighting up barely what's visible uh, with the walls around me. It's like such a dim light. I'm crossing through the water area now. actually blocked off. Um, this is the area that has the most, I guess, demonic, uh, from what Stephen had told me, demonic activity beyond these doors here. But they actually blocked it off. But earlier today, they kind of moved some of the stuff so that way I could get in. It's just a mannequin. Now, everywhere from this point on is part of the haunted house attraction that goes down from down that hallway. But from here, it was all blocked off. I had to move that piece of wood and the chair and this beautiful, attractive young man here <laughs> just to get back through here. Have to kind of skim me through it. Immediately, I don't hear anything. This is where apparently a lot of the apparitions of a dark shadow or a, a dark entity that would be seen traveling, conversing here and out through this hallway. And at the end, I think it was Susie's or Sally's or there was a child that was actually, something bad happened to a child back here apparently, from what I remember. Hopefully my story's correct still, but it's in the very back where there's some dolls. But I do want to leave a motion sensor right here to see if it would pick up something when I go down there. And... Some right here, it doesn't pick me up. Oh, nope, I lied. God, this is creepy. I'm gonna continue going a little bit further back. All right, right around here, it doesn't seem to be picking me up. Jesus Christ, I just heard something. It is absolutely dark right now. And it's quiet. I do have the motion sensor up there. I don't remember the name they gave this thing, to be honest. Or this entity that roams this hall. I'm going to start moving back more just a little bit. I know there's a pipe that actually sticks down from here further up there. In fact. I'm, I'm a good wood a ways away from it. I'm literally walking in through just pitch blackness right now. Like, I see nothing. It's like I'm about to hit a huge hole and just fall down or something like that. Jesus Christ. I just heard something. If there's anyone in here, can you make a sound of a knocking sound or a come walking down this hallway? You can meet me down here if you want. I am now in the room with the pipe. Again, I could see very little when I turn the camera on because the screen kind of lights up things. 
It's actually kind of like a help. Holy crap. I'm getting closer. I'm like halfway through the tunnel. Getting closer to the area right now. I keep hearing noises like a sound that movement coming from behind me, but also the one that's coming from the front. Oh my god, I shouldn't have done that. I blinded myself. I think I'm getting closer to it though. Hello? Are you letting me know that you're here? What is the name that you go by? My name is Frank. You could talk to me. Or give me a sound or a noise or a knock. And I'll do my best not to run. I don't want to hear a sound or a knock. I'm not going to lie. I think I'm getting closer to the table. I was literally hearing what sounded like uh, it sounded like whispering coming from this shop. Oh. I got the, the motion sensors going off. I got the motion sensor going off. There's nothing there yet. Holy I don't know if I'm freaking myself out. Maybe like a rat or something crossed through it. But I am on edge right now. When you're inside this room, like this hallway alone, you literally have like the sense of dread and you feel like something's about to happen and it's between you and your mind 
messing with you. And so you get all anxious and shit, but I'm... I heard what sound like whispers. Then I got a knocking sound. And this thing just went off. The motion sensor. I'm gonna drink some water. <laughs> I'm gonna go, I'm gonna take a quick break. I'm gonna grab my other camera. I don't think I'm gonna do the night vision right now because I'm, I'm actually panicking. Just being through there in the dark makes you just feel like you're gonna die. But um, let me go grab my other camera and I'll work through it. I'll come back through here and probably take a, a rim pot or something. I now have my other camera, so it's not night vision. However, I do have my other night vision cameras right here. They're going to be watching the whole way. As you can see, with this off, you can still see the whole hallway going down there, including my hand. But you see how dark it is? Freaking creepy. So I'm going to actually walk down through this hall. Seeing what I can get. I did bring some equipment down here, so I will be also using thermal grip pot. I am right now in an area where someone had apparently passed away and lost her life because of a pipe bursting. I'm going to be staying inside this little hallway here. I have a night visions watching me. I'll have this camera including a rim pod and thermal. And probably an SLS camera because why not. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and sit here, be alone, and I'm going to see what goes on. Let's get into it. So this is the rim pod right here. And I'm still here in this dark, creepy room. That's my night vision. You can see like a purplish light through there, but uh, that's not what I see. That's what you guys see. I can't see anything. Probably like a small bit of red, but that's it. Is there anyone still here or anyone at all? Can you make a sound or a noise? I do hear drops, and I think that's just water dropping. Can you come close to the area that I'm in? Here, look what I see. A lot of that is just a wooden frame. All right, so I have a spike coming from the rim pod. There's a monster sitting on that chair there. Thank you for coming into the room with me. Okay, I'm gonna turn my light around and screw this. I was gonna have it pointed at my face, but this is pretty creepy. Thanks for coming to the room with me. You wanna tell me your name? Did you pass away here? I got another spike. It's a thermal signature going off on the rim pod. 
And if you look right here on the floor, see that? That right there, that's America's ass. That's my butt. <laughs> when I was leaned up against the wall. <laughs> I didn't think you were gonna see that's a that's a nice ass, right? There you go. Alright, let's That's not me. I'm far from it. Alright, I'm gonna walk through these hallways seeing if I can see you. I want to appreciate you coming through here talking with me tonight. Jesus, that doll looks like it's staring right at me. See it? That's freaking creepy. It's just perfect placing too. I am hearing a pounding sound coming from out here. I was inside the room coming out and it was like boom, boom, boom. I just don't know if it was somebody banging or was it further away. Nicole? 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 Nicole's the owner. I just want to make sure she's not here. But there's a legit whistle going on. There is nobody here besides me. Oh, this is creepy. I'm trying to see if I can hear it again. The thing is, Nicole had some people break in here a couple of times and it's like usually different people so she's been locking up the doors setting up new doors but somehow people keep breaking in and my, my biggest concern is that that's not someone trespassing on the property it's just it sounds kind of distant too so it could be coming from outside either way I gotta check that sounded like it was coming from up here.
there's nothing going on up here. I have not heard a single sound up here anymore. The whistles, I don't know what the heck that was coming from. The only thing that was weird were the bangs. I would also continue going upstairs to the rooftop or to the third floor, but they blocked it all with huge pieces of plywood so I can't really access that, see? Emergency exit only, but they want to direct traffic out. I guess it's a safety risk, which I completely understand. But down here, originally, before I heard the whistles, it was like a sound of a bang, but that one I did not, unfortunately, catch on camera yet. Hopefully, I could catch it again. What is up, guys? Thank you for watching Franco TV. I hope you guys like what you've seen. Things have been getting a little bit more quiet since I've been here and the sun slowly starting to rise up now. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I hope you guys like this video. Let me know if you've seen something in the comments. If the noises that I was hearing, what did you guys think that was? And some of the things that I picked up on thermal, let alone also the rim pod. But I had an amazing time here. I miss this place. I haven't been here in a while. And it's amazing what Nicole has done. To this place. I also want to give a big shout out to my friend Matthew in the UK. Matthew, I love the message you sent me. Hello Franco. How you doing mate? I'm Matthew from the UK. I watch a lot of your videos. Matthew, big shout out to you brother. Thank you for messaging me. It made my night. I wasn't expecting that. Dude, you're awesome and I can't wait to explore the UK and keep up because apparently he's got like a ton of equipment. Matthew, big shout out to you brother. Till the next adventure, I will see you guys on the next video. Bye guys.